I apologize for the video cutting out sometime while I was tacking it up and trying to square everything up. Um, so I'll concentrate a little bit more on some of the welds. The holes in the front, normally I would cut things out and cap them off and grind them, but I don't feel like doing that today. So I bought some caps to go inside of those. A couple there on the front, on the top, and then on the bottom, and then on the top and the back. I'll put a couple of caps, but I'll leave it alone on the bottom. I ground this down on the top, the welds, and I plan on leaving all of the other welds alone, but I ground that down so that um, I could put a tray on top of it. And all of the other welds I'm just going to leave alone. So I tried to make them look a little nicer. And I don't know if you can really see that in this video. I can't see it very well, but maybe you can. Um, not all of them are pretty, but it'll be very strong compared to what you would be able to buy at the store because they usually just tack stuff, so that's annoying. Very simple project, very quick. Um, I've, I've got a little bit more to do to it and then paint it, and I'll try to record that as I do so. Okay, here it is, minus uh, paint and putting the feet on the bottom, which I you saw me welding the, the uh, nuts on for earlier, and I put the top on here, and I just realized, you know, my logo, the whole point of this thing is to stop vibration, and I created this little thing that can vibrate, but um, at least the server's on pads, and so I shouldn't hear anything on that. If I do, I'll have to fix that, but I doubt I'll hear anything. So anyway... That's my new logo for my channel, and I kind of like that, so I thought I'd go ahead and incorporate it on this, even though it wasn't necessary and it's not going to be seen, but have the CNC, it's kind of fun to do anyway, right? So I welded the top in various spots, and I was just knocking this just to make sure there wasn't any vibration, and the only vibration you're hearing right now when I do that is down on the concrete because the concrete's not level. Here's the completed product, the server silencer as I'm calling it. Um, you can see the logo on top. 
And I just have it sitting on top of the kitchen table right now so that it can dry a little bit. It's a little too cold in the garage and I just want it to uh, set up a little faster. So it's a very simple design. Um, I made the base as wide as I did because there's going to be about 40 pounds of server on top of here. I didn't want it to flop. So that gives it enough base to uh, stabilize it. At the bottom, I have a an adjustable foot on each corner because the concrete that it's going on is not level necessarily. And, ooh, I know I had more. Oh yeah, these caps. I, I ended up buying these caps and putting them on the ends instead of capping them manually and welding them and then grinding that down. I, I really didn't feel like doing a lot of grinding on this. The reason why the chairs are all moved in the background is my kids were having fun. Um, I put a couple of caps here. I didn't put any down there. That You're not going to see them at all. Let me go this way so the sun's not shining in the background. You can see it a little better. Very simple project but it'll uh, take care of this vibration noise we have from the server, which is really isn't that loud, but it's being amplified due to its location. And this is to just take that amplification down so we don't have to hear it all the time. This is the door to my cold storage and server room. It's also my furnace room. I don't know if the microphone is picking it up, but you can hear the noise from the server. Particularly, this is our bathroom. The server's on the other side of this wall and it echoes up through the floor. I had a different server in there, it was quieter and it hasn't been a problem. This server's just a little louder. It's really not loud for a computer at all, but it's because of this shelving, which is in this um, recessed area here, it causes a vibration or something. It amplifies the sound quite a bit. Um, this, excuse the big mess of cables. This is my network in my house. Everything comes into this location. Into This was my old switch. This is a 10100 switch. Here's my gigabit switch. I have a couple of gigabit routers. Um, Nash drives. Those two are dead over there. I just need to get rid of them. Uh, Vonage. Anyway, moving down. This is the server I have. I, again, I had a different server before, and it was even quieter than this one. And it, it made a little bit of a noise too, but we kind of got used to it. This one, it's just too loud. Um, so I'm going to put this bin on top of the rack that I just built, but it will slide into underneath here. And it'll come up and it'll slide right underneath this server here. I have a few inches of room up here. And so that will just hold the server off of this shelf, because if I pick that server up, and just hold it off of that shelf all of our noise vibration noises that you probably can't hear in this video they go away and so that's the whole purpose of the server silencer is to just get this off the shelf so we don't have any noises <laughs> 